In this tutorial, I'd like to show you VoiceOver from ePostProd. VoiceOver is a generator that allows you to adjust your composition's length and text content according to the speaker's speed. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but VoiceOver also works in Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. You can find it in the Generators browser under ePostProd. I'll drag it to my timeline. First, clicking on the Edit VoiceOver Text button in the on-screen controls will allow you to either import your text from a file or type it in directly. In the parameters, the first two control the speaker behavior. The speed slider controls the reading speed in words per minute and can be adjusted according to your voiceover artist's speech speed. The average characters per word slider may change depending on your language, with the default set to the average of 4.5 for English. These parameters will control how fast the text will scroll over your composition and given your text content, will determine the video length your speaker will need to properly perform the voiceover. Next, you can adjust the text visualization on the screen, change the text color, font, size, position, and highlight easily. Now you're ready to adjust your content. VoiceOver comes equipped with a status indicator in the upper right-hand corner of the composition. A red square indicates that the length of the generator is too short, and your speaker will not be able to perform the voiceover completely. An orange square means the content is too long, indicating your speaker will end the voiceover before the generator reaches the end. And finally, a green square means that your composition is perfectly synchronized, and your speaker will end the voiceover just in time. You can use the length of the generator as a guide to adjusting your edit. VoiceOver is a great addition to your editing toolkit that can help time out your voiceovers perfectly ultimately saving time in the edit. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.